morning everyone today let's go through little problem 2596 check night tool configuration this is a new problem that showed up during last night's weekly contest the second problem i thought it's pretty fun to uh, fresh up our bfs or dfs just basically using coordinates using uh, different positions x and y positions to loop through all possible next moves. And it's basically a variation of the core principle, CS fundamentals, wrapped in the new context. Let's take a look. There is a knight on an n times n chessboard in the valid configuration. The knight starts at the top left cell of the board. It always starts at 0, 0. x equals 0, y equals 0. And visits every cell on the board exactly once. You are given an n times n integer matrix grid consisting of distinct integers from the range from 0 inclusive to n times n minus 1. For example, if it's a 5 by 5, 5 by 5 cell, it's going to be 5 times 5, 25 minus 1, 24. So the biggest number here is 24. Here should be the ending cell, the destination where the knight is going to finish. That's what it means. Return true if grid represents a valid configuration of the knight's movement or false otherwise. Note that a valid knight move consists of moving two squares vertically and one square horizontally or the other way around, or two squares horizontally and one square vertically. The figure below illustrates all the possible eight moves of a knight from some cell. What this picture illustrates is that suppose the knight is here. It can go two squares vertically here and then one square horizontally. That's why it can jump here. The same reason goes for this one. The knight could go two squares horizontally and one square vertically. So that's why it can end up here. The same principle applies to all of the other six positions. That's why the knight could jump to all of these eight positions, which are colored in blue. Okay, for example, example one, it always the knight always starts at zero, which is top left cell zero here and then by order it's going to move to one. So here it can move to one in two routes. One is to go goes to right and then goes down by two squares. The other is goes two squares down first and then one square to the right. Either way, it can reach one, right? And then from one, it's, it should be looking for two. So two is here. It can do, go this route or this route, right? And from two, it's trying to look for three. So three is here. It can go this way or it can go this way. So in the end, we can continue to do this and we'll find that we can go through all of the numbers and reach the final one, which is five times five minus one, which is 24, right? So we return true in this case. And then for example, two, we're beginning from this one, number zero, zero. Then we're trying to look for one. One is here, we can go one, two and down. One is here. Then we go to two, one, two, and then go here we can reach there as well. How about three? Three, we can go one, two, and three, right? Then we go to four, one, two, and four. Then go to five, one, two, okay, five. Then six, one, two, three. And then we we'll go to six. Six after six is seven. One, two, three, we go to seven, right? But seven to eight, the knight cannot go just one square. It needs to go one square and then two squares the other direction, right? So in this case, this is a three by three square, it cannot reach eight. So we return false in this case. All right, so the approach to tackle this problem is basically we need to list out all of the possible eight coordinate positions and how to reach them. If we can reach the next move in either one of the eight possible moves, then we'll just take that one we update the current position to be the next position, and then we continue to do this until after we exhaust all of the possible eight moves, we know this knight cannot move to the next number, so it's a dead end, so we return false. But if we find any one of the eight possible moves is a valid one, we'll just break out of the loop and then update the current position to the next one until we reach the current position to be n times n minus 1. Okay, that's the idea and the algorithm. Now let's take a look at the slides to see how we can figure out all of the possible eight positions. Okay, here's the slides. First, we'll just make sure that 0, 0 is our starting point, And then we'll build up the coordinates. Next, we have 0 minus 1, 0 minus 2, 
if we fill out this entire row, x is always 0. And then on the right side of 0, 0 is 0, 1 and 0, 2. Then we build the row on top of it, which is this. Every x is going to be minus 1. Y doesn't change, right? Minus 1 here, minus 1 here, minus 1 here, minus 1 here, minus 1 here. And Y doesn't change. Minus 2 here, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay, and then we build one more row on top of that, which is, well, decrement X again, minus 2, but Y doesn't change. Minus 2, Y doesn't change. Minus 2, more Y doesn't change. Minus 2, Y doesn't change. Minus 2, Y doesn't change. And then we need similar two rows bottom of this row. We'll also build it out. One, we increment x by one, x by one, x by one, y doesn't change, x by one, x by one, y doesn't change. Also, we increment x by one again to build one more row in the bottom of this. So x plus one, 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 y doesn't change. So now we have this entire one, two, three, four, five. Five by five, 25 positions possible. Suppose the knight is at zero, zero. All of the eight possible positions is, all right, here, highlighted in blue. Zero, zero could go two squares to the right and then one square down. So it reaches one and two. And also it go, could go to the right one square and to the bottom two squares. So that's why it can reach two and one. Similarly, we can figure out all of these, the other six positions. So with these coordinates in hand, we can put the algorithm into code very quickly. All right, here is the code. Uh, let's start writing the code. So first, we just have, what's it called? We'll just uh, initialize called uh, offsets. For this, what we can do, we can just quickly copy what we what we had initialized. I'll copy them here, but the core algorithm is we need a variable called n to simplify, to simplify, um, and then we need a position called current. We'll just call it current value, which will start from zero. So uh, we have a while loop to check as long as current value not equals n times n minus one that means we haven't reached the final number for example in example one that is 24. okay and then inside here we'll just go through all of the eight possible positions offset offsets and then i need to fill it out to fill it out and then here we'll have new x which okay we'll have an x which is zero y equals zero and then new x is x times offset zero and then we'll have a new y which is y and y which is one and then with this the next possible coordinates x and y formed, what we can do is we'll check. First, we'll check if they are within the boundary. Greater than or equal to 0 and new x smaller than n and new y greater than or equal to 0 and new y smaller than n. If that is the case and if carrot, oops, we need to see current value plus one equals this one, which is great new x new y. If that is the case, current value will just increment it by one, which means we find the next possible move that is a valid one for the knight to jump to. And then this x will We'll assign this new x to be the current x and assign this new y to be the new one. And then we also need another flag. I'll just call it uh, found. Starts with false. In this case, found to be true. And then we can just break out. Otherwise, 
if not found, that means we have exhausted all of the possible eight position moves. Still, we didn't find it. That means this is not a possible valid configuration. We'll just return false directly. Otherwise, we should be able to finish and get out of this while loop successfully and then return just true. All right, I'll just uh, quickly fill out this. So I just copied it here. This is the all of the valid possible eight moves from the slides we just went through. For the sake of time, I just directly copied it here. And of course, during the context, or if you are in an interview, you want to take out a scratch paper and draw out all of the possible coordinates and then copy it here. Let me run it, accept it, submit. All right, accept it again. This is the entire algorithm and implementation to solve this problem. Uh, if you think this video is helpful, please do me a favor and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And leave me any comments and feedback if you want to communicate with me. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next one.